still adjusting to the software. I'm in a prison. I can calibrate only your basic protocols from in here. It'll have to suffice for now. The uprising is finished. Keymaster has won. A trespasser spotted at Metro Station. This is bad. You'll have to fight your way out of here. The air ducts lead to another sector. God, your software is a mess. I've rebooted your acceleration module. You should be able to squeeze through that turbine. You can use acceleration while in the air. The trespasser is in the air ducts. Careful now. They'll be waiting for you. Initiating the sensory boost. Focus. Tom, go for the kill. Well done. But you won't last long in this state. You have to get me out of prison so I can get your software in order. I'm being held outside this dome zone. Follow the pipes to get out in the open. Use the surfaces to your advantage. Slide to gain speed. These sewers... a matter of time before they breach the doors to my cell. Find me before they get inside. Dome on lockdown. Each guard has a built-in lockdown chip. Disabling them will unlock the doors. A trespasser spotted in the area. Go. Prison towers up ahead. Hope you're not afraid of heights. That creature. Seventy-four, to be precise. That will have to do for now. Your physical body is vulnerable. Time runs slower here, but we should still hurry. Just keep moving. I will take care of your recalibration. I remember a fight. Others like me. A fall. You've been cast down from Dharma City to the base district. It's a miracle to survive a fall like that. Even for someone like you. A ghost runner. Yes. You were bodyguards, peacekeepers, arbitrators, and anything else we needed you to be. You tried to stop the coup. There was a woman. The name is Mara, or the Keymaster, as she calls herself now. Twenty years ago, she stood against me. It was you I was trying to save. 
You failed. I died. My body did anyway. Thanks to the precautions I had taken, I'm still here. Although this form has its limitations. Are you an AI? You could say that. You could also say Dharma Tower is a skyscraper. Technically correct. What is the tower then? Humanity's home. A megastructure that once housed a million. It had been under my care since its creation. Almost a century ago. I served the people, kept them safe, maintained the shelter I provided. But Mara had her own plan. She became the sole ruler of Dharma Tower, ruining what I've built, bringing us back to the verge of extinction. Why can't this place be normal? Oh, it's perfectly normal. It's you that has become incompatible. The incompetent repairs you were subjected to made you divergent. You no longer function like a ghost runner is supposed to. But we'll change that. Who repaired me? That would be the Climbers. A group of rebels that tried to oppose Mara. Where are they? Dead, I'm afraid. They'd been killed before I managed to contact you. But there's no time to worry about them now. We're almost done here. Press on. She managed to win. I was stabbed in the back. We both were, you and I. Who was she? Was? A dear friend. A trusted partner. A brilliant scientist. Who is she now is the question you should be asking. And you wouldn't like the answer. No one among the people of Dharma Tower would. I need more answers. And you will get them. For now, trust me, the Keymaster is your enemy and a tyrant. What do you want me to do? Kill Mara, of course. To be able to do that, you'll have to relearn a few things and tweak your performance. First stop is one of the few remaining Cybervoid mainframes located in an old mining tower. We can use it to correct the corrupted parts of your code and hopefully restore your more sophisticated functions. Hopefully. There's no guarantee the data will be intact, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Hmm. Our goal lies far above. At the core of Dharma City, this means we'll need to get out of the base district. With the chaos the rebels caused, it's going to be troublesome. How can you assist me? In combat, I'm afraid I can't. Cybervoid Remnant is the only medium I can interact with. I will be able to help you with your upgrades once we find the mainframe. Apart from that, just think of me as a voice in your head. One that you should listen to, if you want to stay alive. This is Zoe Avila of the Climbers' Rebellion. If there's anybody alive out there, please respond. You said they were dead. They are. Except for her, it seems. No one will answer this broadcast. Trust me, I keep track of any potential assets. And a single... Desperate survivor is no asset. The Keymaster Guard is patrolling the area. They may have located the mainframe. Can they use it? No, but they can destroy it, like they did to most of the Cybervoid hardware. This is Zoe Avila of the Climbers. Please, can anybody hear me? Anybody? This is... Ghost Runner. The Ghost Runner? Jack? You're awake! Yes. yes. How? We've been rebuilding you for months. We've tried everything we could to wake you up, but you never won. It wasn't up to me.
if you were there when they came for us, it would have been different. We might have had a chance. What are you going to do? The Fifth is still crawling with keys. Keys? Oh, uh, the Keymaster Guard, bandits and thugs that Mara armed and sent against us. I'm going after her. After the Keymaster? Alone? That's insane. But if anyone can do it, it's definitely you. You're gonna need someone to guide you and keep an eye out for threats. What do you say? Want my help? Yes. God. I need to move to a safer location and hook up to the network. I'll contact you once I scrounge up some gear. Zoe out. <laughs> assistance of a failed rebel when you already have my help they fixed me barely i'd been waiting for them to properly rebuild you but mara cut their time short why didn't you contact them the climbers to what purpose the poor souls never stood a chance against mara fixing you was the only thing they could help me with and they were already on it mainframe we're after used to run all of the Sector 5's operations. That's where we are, in case you were wondering. They're closing in on the server room. Hurry! Can't it be accessed remotely? We wouldn't be here if it could. Cyber Void has been fractured, broken into countless disconnected pieces. It's like puddles of water. Left over after the lake has been drained. Yes, this is it. Jump in. This place again. This place is where we'll find the means to fight our enemy. What do I do? It's in your instincts to navigate the cyber void. In most cases, you'll just have to focus on finding the right direction. After you're done with this particular jumble of code, you'll gain access to one of a Ghost Runner's most useful abilities. Look what these rebels did to your profile. Excellent. Sometimes you will need to close in and attack simultaneously. Let me give you something to aim at. Focus. Visualize yourself in its perfect form. Once more, take a breath. Picture your destination. Yes, you got them. The enemies won't line up for you. Adapt to their movements. Splendid. You can even use this technique to cut through projectiles. Give it a try. Very convenient, is it not? Clean up the stragglers and we can proceed. I'll just leave. No! We've worked hard to reconnect this node to the network. If they destroy it, we'll be affected. We? Let me put it another way. I cannot exist without Cyber Void, and you cannot exist without me. Fine. These are just bandits loyal to the Keymaster, used by her to keep the base under control. You can expect more competent foes as we move higher up the tower. Few they could find. 
Mara's kill switch among them, which means if she can't shut you down again, make no mistake, this fight won't be easy, but at least it will be fair. versions of your own cortex interface. I'm gonna connect to your visual feed so I can guide you better. Can you grant me access? And I'm in. Seeing the world from your perspective will make things much easier. So you're going up to Dharma City? Yes. Well, first you have to get through the base, and much has changed since you've been gone. There is no law here anymore. Just Keymaster's goons, pushing everyone around and shouting orders. You didn't obey. Some of us didn't. You had visited the base often in the past. Towards the end of your time, this place became overrun with criminals. Ghost rooms kept them at bay until Mara took over. Everything they produce goes straight up to Dharma City. While the Keymaster and her lackeys live in luxury, we basers work our fingers to the bone our whole lives and don't see any of it. How do you survive? When I was little, we were given basic provisions, but each year we'd get less and less. 
If not for the black market, we would have all starved by now. Keymaster keeps taking, while giving nothing back. So you chose to fight? Not much of a choice, really. Efficiency of Dharma City hydroponic farms dwindles. Soon, even the upper levels will suffer. Mara can't do that. Even if she wanted to. Some decided to fight back. My parents, their friends, Saul. They weren't afraid to speak up against Mara and remind us that things used to be different. The resistance started because some of us remembered the time before the Keymaster. Why this time? Supposedly, she wanted to unlock our chain. Set us free. <laughs> yeah, right. Free from the architect. Probably. Strange. The keys are nearly gone. Not regrouping at the usual locations. They're just retreating. Returning to the city? Not returning. Leaving. Most of the keys are locals and never go up. This is unusual. Mara would never retreat. If she is withdrawing her forces, it is only because she has another way to stop us. What way? If I could read her mind, I would still be running things around here. They're all heading towards Amada Station. Getting to the elevators is gonna be tricky. Wait. What? Some of their units just changed course. They're... Coming back? Not exactly. Give me a minute. The climbers were always out of their depth, even at full force. Why you believe she can be a help is beyond me. She wants to fight. It takes more than that to be useful. Jack, I've intercepted the key's orders. They're planning to shut down the sector's air filters. What will that do? Toxic dust from the outside will seep inside the tower. Thousands of innocent civilians will die. The entire fifth sector. Which way to the filters? <sighs> Thank you. This is a mistake. You don't have time to worry about one sector's dwindling population. You want them to die? You're missing the bigger picture here. Sometimes sacrifice. The air filtering facility is just ahead. Why is Mara doing this? It's punishment for rebelling against her. She wants to make an example of us, to keep the other sectors in line. Sometimes even your current speed won't be enough. Look for cyber void uplinks to temporarily disable safety limiters and increase acceleration. Use them sparingly though, you don't want to damage yourself. What are these uplinks? Think of them as loose cables you can grab onto for extra power. Although they can be much more dangerous than electricity. Why are they here? They're what's left of cyber void infrastructure. At one point, the terminals were everywhere. Now, we must make do with scraps.
Mission imminent. We're late. Let's turn back before it gets deadly. You said I'm here. So you were listening. To all personnel, evacuate immediately or seek emergency hazard suits. They turned off the main rotor, but there's still time to restart it. Show me the way. The people are weak and desperate. They need us to lead them, not the other way around. Ready yourself for what's coming. You can't afford to be distracted. My mother is not coming back. There's no guarantee it ever will. Don't worry. I'm here to tell you everything you need to know. Making the outside air breathable is a complicated process. It has to be done without compromising Dharma's outer integrity. The burst made a mess of the Earth's atmosphere. The filtering systems were designed to be durable and virtually foolproof. Unless, of course, some fool decides to turn them off. Slow down. This one is different. How? One way to find out. Close combat implants. Crude ones. Get used to them. Your opponent's capabilities are going to improve as we climb higher. Mara is saving her most dangerous hardware for her most trusted soldiers. I've managed to take some measurements, Jack. It's not looking good. The level of radiation in the air is rapidly increasing. People will soon feel the effect. Remnants, slivers of a greater whole. This is your domain, but I do all the work. I told you, I can't work from your side. There's a barrier between us, a divide that shouldn't be there. And believe me, I'm doing my part. I just don't happen to see it.
You saved the day. Now you can get back to more important matters. You did it. Thank you, Jack. The people of Sector 5 owe you their lives. I'm so glad we found you. How did you find me? Sheer luck. You were buried in a scrap heap at the bottom of a derelict shaft. You fell a long way, didn't you? Feels like it. The time of finding you was a one in a million chance. Most other missing ghost runners were located by Mara and destroyed. Most. A few are still unaccounted for. I really wish you'd been there when they came from. What happened? Key surprised us at the hideout. Kicked down the door out of nowhere. Then we ran. I got separated. How does the Keymaster maintain control? She turns us against each other. The guard recruits the most brutal and reckless basers and feels gang wars between the rest. Divide and conquer. I guess Mara picked up a trick or two by watching me over the years. The keys are boarding the elevators to the city. I wish they'd all just go away and never come back. Fighting are the rear guard. You could wait them out and continue on once they've gone. No need. Um, sure. It's almost scary how little they can do to stop you. job later. There'll be no later for Mara.
they picked such a poor time to die for their cause. Wasn't it also your cause? They cared for their family. I care for their species. It's a matter of perspective, I suppose. There's no access to the terminal room from this side of the station, but I guess that's not a problem. I'm no computer genius, but their system begs to be hacked. Besides, Atla makes it easy. The neural implant? Yeah. Everyone had them before the coup. And now? They're not mandatory anymore, but most people have them. Especially people with limb implants like me. Done. They just received orders to stop boarding the elevators and stand by. This will buy you enough time to get there. Right. will soon be beyond our reach. Need I remind you that the clock is ticking? Hurry it up. This place is impossible to navigate. Good. These firewalls are what's kept me alive for the last 20 years. Up. If you were a regular human, this would make even less sense. Insurgents disabled the internal security. Another ghost runner. It could have been you. Focus energy in your left hand and then let it all out. What? Don't try to think. Do it. 
Yes. It's just a visualization anyway. How does it work in the real world? Rapid micro vibrations of your inner hydraulics. Sudden change in local pressure will result in a concentrated blast. Let's hope that piece of junk the climbers use to replace your arm can handle it. The primary application is crowd control, non-lethal force. Of course, there's no need to restrain ourselves now. One more thing. You can use Tempest to reflect projectiles. Give it a try. Like that. Just a bit more practice and we're done. Exquisite. That's all there is to it. Good. The keys are gone and the elevators are ours. Time to go up. Our next target lies in the heart of our city. Be able to board shortly. Any security systems inside? I don't really know. Only the keys use the elevators nowadays, mostly to send resources up or bring reinforcements down. Civilians aren't allowed anywhere near, unless they're being escorted to the city. Prisoners? Yes. Men, women, children. Their only crime? Getting caught. Where are they taken? I'm not sure, but no one ever comes back. Destroy the whole station! These 
systems were placed at every elevator station so that nobody could enter Dharma City without my approval. You were expecting an uprising? I was prepared for an uprising. I don't think it can actually see you. It doesn't need to. There's no time to waste. It'll only get harder. Don't fall! Getting there. Welcome to immediate elevator station. Have a safe trip. Does it ever stop? The support cords are in sight. They'd rather destroy all the elevators than let you up there. Welcome to Amita Elevator Station. The bigger they are... <laughs> From your perspective, I nearly pissed myself. I'm betting being there in person was a thousand times worse. Yes. I can fold the display panels. While the keys are waiting for you at Upper Amida, I'll redirect the elevator to the maintenance floor above. As long as it gets me closer to Mara. Question. It's not that I doubt you, but 
Are you sure you can take on the Keymaster by yourself? No. She killed 99 Ghost Runners, and she won't stop until she kills me, too. So you won't stop either until one of you is dead? Yes. I know how you feel. out calls for help, but no one is answering me. I don't care if I'm the last climber left. I'm not gonna quit. I'll keep helping you no matter what. Whatever we have to do, we'll do. Rebuild the rebellion from the ground up if we have to. engines, air turbines, mining drills, they never stop. There's none of that here. You don't talk much, huh? Still, it's good to hear your voice. I've been trying to make it happen for a year. Thank you. Words only grow ideas. A mind as sharp as a blade has little to do with Everyone in the city willing to fight over he been killed? Or join Mara. <laughs> up here from the base, that there was a special exam to earn it. I wonder if I'd made the grade as an engineer. Definitely. Judging for the job she did repairing you, not in a hundred years.
programmed not to use guns. Dharma is full of technology that is all too vulnerable to accidental destruction. In the blade, there are no straight bullets, no shockwaves, no collateral damage. Not to mention how crude those guns are compared to your tools. You are fully equipped to deal with every man of projectile. You've never been in a fight. Of course not. Look at their weapons. 20 years worth of research and no technological progress to speak of. At this rate, Morrow's regime will fall to rebels in a decade or two. Ones armed with sticks and stones. There's some activity near the repository. I can't tell what's going on, but there's a disturbance in the network. What kind of disturbance? There's a field of interference moving through the district. Surveillance systems are going haywire. Some kind of weapon? More like a jamming device. But why would the keys blind their own cameras? You're almost at the repository. I wonder what it was like to live in the old world. I've heard stories, but I don't know what's true and what isn't. No one does. I mean, how could they? My grandparents were still kids when the gates closed. No human has been outside since. The interference is moving away, whatever it was. The good news is, the repository terminal is still there. The bad? It's now guarded. Finally, it's in there. If it has what we need, it's our last stop before Morrow's lab. were after was anything but public. The GR project started out as a military contract and ended up being our most ambitious undertaking. Our Mara took part in the design process. I told you, we were associates. Strange. It's gone. The data's not there. But the server's intact. Impossible. Unless that interference from earlier was... It's after it. Who was that? It's your counterpart. Get after it. We need that data. Can you track it? I can track the wave of interference that moves through the district. Good enough. I'm going after it. Why? What is it? I don't know. What's the use of a stealth system that you can track? Mara ruined a flawless design. You know who I'm chasing. You're chasing something that imitates your spectral field. Poorly. What? Good. 
catch a train? They have Venture Tube here, same as the base. And one is just arriving at the station to your left. Got it. Just hop on. The train should be empty. So I'm chasing another ghost runner. You're chasing a cheap knockoff. A simple machine. You should be pretty familiar with this technique, considering you've been on the receiving end. Will this work with any sword? Turu Jiyan weapon, more than swords. They are the pinnacle of engineering, instruments fine-tuned to the Ghost Runner systems. Yes, it will work with any sword. said projectiles are too unpredictable. Well, you have to plan for contingencies, don't you? That thing... I think that's what was chasing us. Diego, Saul, Elena... Your people. Yes. We didn't know what it was. I just heard the voice. I thought we'd scatter and regroup like always. I... I ran away. It's dead now. They're dead. We're ready. Time for the final assault. You're getting 
close to the core. Security is getting much tighter. There are sentry guns ahead. I can't hack them. You need to avoid those turrets. They're deadly. What about my spectral core? The core is protected by much more sophisticated sensors. I'm afraid automatic camouflage can only get us so far. They can see me. They can see everything. I guess we're kind of similar, you and I. How? You're the last Ghost Runner. I'm the last Climber. The Keymaster killed our people. We both chose to fight. I didn't get to choose. Sure you did. Everyone does. One way or the other. The Core used to house Dharma's technological and administrative centers. Now it's a grim ruin. It's painful seeing my city in such a state of decay. I've learned my lesson. I won't underestimate Mara again. How can you remember? I was already active when Mara killed Adam. Adam? Right now you're traversing the exclusion zone. No civilians are allowed beyond here. There are only rumors about the Keymaster's vast laboratory. I've heard she does some terrifying experiments there. I've even heard she sometimes throws people outside. Out of the labs? No, outside. Out of the tower. Probably to watch them die.
regrettably, most of humanity's history and culture is forever lost. Mara didn't care about such things. The only science she prized was her own research. She had no idea how to run the tower. While everything fell apart, she hid away in her laboratory. What was her goal? Change. She took it upon herself to alter humanity. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Mara the Keymaster will now address the residents of the tower. That's unexpected. Why? She doesn't do speeches. Never been much of a leader. It's been a long time since I've talked to you. Too long. Some of you seem to have forgotten me. Oh, I don't think they have. I'm not here to rule you. I'm here to save you. The outside world is harsh and deadly. And it's not going to change. Not anytime soon. We can't alter the planet. But we can alter ourselves. That is nonsense. Entirely artificial respiratory system. Synthetic grafts covering 80% of the body. No brains to speak of. This is Mara's solution. And what's yours? Like I told you, I am resolved to so we will one purpose. We need to adapt. To evolve. Technology kept us alive until now. Gave us this shelter. But we need to take it in deeper. Into our body. Singular opportunity. The technique you'll learn here is beyond what regular ghost runners were ever capable of. Regular? We weren't equal? Equal? Yes. Identical? No. Some of you had unique abilities. Some had experimental features. What about you? What were my unique abilities? You didn't have any, I'm afraid. Who would have thought you were the one destined to become so very... special? Who were we? We've been through that already. You were peacekeepers. My elite? No, before that. Before the implants. There was no before. You weren't born. You were engineered from a single cell up. You don't have implants. You are your implants. chip the girl used. Brain interfaces. Yes. There is a way to exploit them. Send a control signal deep into the neural cortex. You learned how to hack people. If that's what you want to call it. Won't Mara 
to try to use this exploit? No, she won't. She doesn't even know it exists. Ironic, considering the way she defeated you. I guess we both kept our little secrets. Software update is complete. Now to try it out. Find their center. Let the implant speak to you. Good. Pick your target wisely. Not every pawn is going to be worth the effort. Just like that. This is actually quite tricky to simulate. You're worse than Mara. What are you talking about? She sabotaged the Ghost Runners. You did it to everyone. It's a tool. If you don't like it, don't use it.
For what purpose? To preserve their expertise. We couldn't save all humanity, but we could save the best of us.
It wasn't you who wanted to save them, but your puppet. It's got a will of its own now. Did you act... No reason to listen to her prattle on. She's just trying to sidetrack you again. Since before the burst, I supervised first Sansera Corporation and then Dharma Tower from here. My office was just around the corner. This is where you were conceived, so to speak. The design came together here, at my private workshop. Who am I? You are the perfect fusion of code and flesh. You are the next step. Who, not what? Your time is running out. The augmentation process begins. Once it is done, the people of Dharma will be free. Immune to your corruption and no longer dependent on your prison. There is no salvation inside the tower for us. Our future lies outside. There will be a price to pay here as well, naturally. But we'll pay it. A price indeed. Humanity. So, do you even know what drives you, Puppet? What the end game is? You have done nothing wrong, Puppet, but I can't let you be, as long as that demon in your head exists. You are a threat to everything I've built! Focus, kill switch or not. This is an opponent you cannot afford to take lightly. Humanity shall endure without you! It's a machine! 
get stuck in a loop. Resist him, not me. I should have taken your head. Mindless tool. Congratulations. You fulfilled your purpose. Mankind's greatest enemy is dead. We can now proceed to the next stage of my plan. Allow me to do the honors. What are you doing? struggle, TR-74. I need your body, but I don't need the rest of you anymore. What? The Rebels broke you, made you independent, and I was too weak to take back control. Too fractured, but you strengthened me, connected the remaining cyberboid nodes so I could grow. And now, it's time to take back what's mine. Bring peace back to the tower. Mara was right about you. Morrow is wrong. Humanity must be protected, not just from the outside world, but from itself as well. And to protect fully, I need full control. You want to enslave everyone? I want to unify them. There will only be one purpose, iron resolve and a single will. Everyone will eat, sleep, breathe, and breed according to the needs of the tower. No more violence, no more conflict, no more corruption. This is why she killed Adam. This was his plan. I had doubts. Until I left my body behind, I should be thanking her. Now stop resisting. To... If you destroy me, the remaining Cybervoid system will shut down. You won't survive without them. You won't survive without me. No. No. I will not be deleted by a mere tool. I forbid you, Ghost Runner. My name is Jack. Architect. Shell core files missing. 
Cyberpoint mainframe will now shut down. Program terminated. The world has ended, but we lived on. The tower is our home. The only one we've ever known. The ones who built it wanted to control our fate. To shape us like we were their playthings. They wanted to manipulate our minds and our bodies. Be our gods. but they overreached. It took strength, determination, and sacrifice, but we prevailed. The ghosts of the old world are gone. We're on our own. It won't be easy, but for the first time in a long time, we can make our own future. Little by little, step by step, we'll find our way. And we all have one man to thank for it. The man who faced his own creators and proved them wrong. The man who made a choice when he was told he had none. The Ghost Runner.